Hi, this is Windows 7 user. Uh, this is just going to be a quick little tutorial on how to forward your ports for uTorrent. Uh, first thing you have to have uTorrent downloaded. Uh, if you don't have it, you can just go to uTorrent.com or type uTorrent into Google. It's a quick download. It's uh, about 2 megabytes. Uh, the first thing you want to do <coughs> is you're going to want to go into Options, Preferences, and Connection. You're going to want to unclick the box that says Enable UPnP Port Mapping. And then you're going to want, there's going to be the port box where it wants you to create a, a random port. But I would suggest something in the 59,000 range because for some reason it uh, happens to be faster. Now just make sure to apply that. Click OK. Now, the first thing before you actually forward your ports is you have to create a static IP address. The way you do this is you go to Control Panel, Network and Security, Network Sharing Center, and Local Area Connection. It might be a little bit different depending on what you have, like Windows XP, but basically you're going to go to your internet connection. Uh, the way to find your actual local connection is it will give you, if you, it gives you more than one option, just try disabling the network adapters for each of the individual ones until you get the one that you actually want. Uh, then you'll go to properties and you will go to internet protocol version 4 most of the time, like it's about 99% of the time, and you'll go to properties and you'll want to use, uh, you're going to be inputting everything manually so now you're gonna go to uh, all programs accessories and run you could type command or just CMD and uh, you're gonna type in IP config slash all and this is gonna give you all of your information on your network so save you a lot of time and just for ease of use, you know, open both windows up right next to each other. Um, okay, for my for the uh, IP address, it is located right here. So one nine two one six eight one, and then this this is the part that you'll actually be changing. Basically, what a static IP address is, it's it's a locked on IP address that's not going to be moving, which enables you to get better speeds. Uh, right now, mine is at point three. Uh, ideally, you the I think the port numbers are like between one and two hundred and sixty or something like that. But I I tend to use stuff in the twenties just for ease of use because you might want to make sure it doesn't interfere with anything else on your network. Uh, your subnet right here it should just automatically fill in. For uh, the default gateway right here. Uh, preferred DNS is right here. Uh, there's some some people might have you know more than one. A lot of people it might even have up to three. But what you do is you just type them in in the order that they come. So say say I had another one below this, I would just type it in the next box down. You don't have to type them. The maximum you could do is two. So if you have more than one though, you do have to type in at least two. Okay, then you're just gonna confirm these settings by clicking OK and close. It's going to save all of your settings right here. It might say that you have no network connection for a second, but you do. Okay, you can X out of all this now. Okay, now you're going to go to Internet Explorer. And in, this, in the address bar, you're going to type in 192.168.1.1. Point one. This is default for most routers. It's going to ask you for uh, a username and password. Just by default, most of them for the username have admin and the password is just password. Uh, for some, it might be different, but what you should do if, if that's the case is you go to portforward.com and it'll tell you specifically. Um, from this point on, it could be a little bit different from you, but it's 99% the same thing. Um, if if something looks a little confusing that I'm doing, you could always go to portforward.com for your specific thing. Um, also remember that this is for uTorrent in specific. That means 
other services might you might have like I have my Xbox set up for Xbox Live my ports are forwarded but there's specific ports that you have to use so this is for uTorn only okay you're gonna click add custom service and type in just give it a name like uTor and then uh, you're gonna put a starting port which is uh, if you forgot it's back over here and if you want you can just go to the speed guide right here Oh, I almost forgot just to show you that my ports are not forwarded at this point an error has occurred your ports are not open but uh, we're about to change all that okay for server IP address it's gonna want you to input <coughs> your static IP if you forgot the easiest way is just to go to run command and just IP config slash all and there it is. Right there. So then you're just gonna apply that. And you can X out of here. And you may need to restart your router after you do this. Uh, we'll see if I have to or not see if the ports are now forwarded and they're open so um, if you have any questions comments uh, just post them below and I'll answer back as soon as possible uh, please subscribe and uh, rate uh, also if you have any PC or Mac questions um, just send me a message and I'll make you a video tutorial or answer back if it's something real simple um, I also do like I could install the hardware I know how to use most programs including like more complex stuff like in the Adobe collection and uh, Final Cut alright thank you for watching my video